Hi, this is Shadi. Today we're going to be looking at a street uh, footage. It involves an armed man and then someone comes in and disarms the man. Uh, this is a technique that you will see a lot in Aikido. Back when I trained Aikido, I did this technique in every single training. However, the methodology of training is obviously different for different reasons. But this is something you also see in Judo Kata and also old Jiu Jitsu. So this is a very old footage and it's very well known circling around the internet, but it doesn't hurt to see it and discuss the technique. So without further ado, let's get into the footage. So you have here an armed man and then a security or a policeman gets behind him and immediately disarms him. So let's take a look at it again. So he sneaks up, grabs the wrist and the arm and then creates a wheel with his hand and then uses his leg to actually put him down. Uh, you don't need the leg, but it does help get someone down like an O Soto Otoshi. So he gets him down, the backup comes in very quickly. This is very important to train competitor or not. These are very important aspects of martial arts that need to be trained in my opinion. So this is the basic form that is taught. You circle around to get almost behind them. Very similar to this thing we saw in the footage, but as an open hand technique, you grab inside of the palm and then you open it. And then with both hands, one on the wrist and one on the arm, you actually really drive down almost like punching uh, the mat and you get them down easily unless they resist which can induce injury here you see kyuzo mifune demonstrating it against a knife notice how he drops his weight to get the most leverage possible so a lot of people will say that it only worked because he snuck up on him but in these uh, types of scenarios sneaking up is a very important tactic. Uh, we are not dealing with a fair fight here. This is someone that is armed and dangerous and you want the surprise element to be on your side and you want every little advantage possible. So to say that this is uh, the only way that worked is because he snuck up on him is just not true in my opinion. Also, uh, the training methodology in Aikido is not the same. There's a lot of big circles being drawn and also it's a demonstration of philosophy, at least from my opinion standpoint and also from what i've read from the founder of aikido but we can go into the writings very soon if you'd like but uh training self-defense especially like this sneaking up and incapacitating someone is a very important self-defense scenario that is trained worldwide so if you have anything else to add let me know down below this was shady and thank you for listening